cut grass cut grass and cut grass I have to say I have never been closer to being caught up in my life doing work around the property so I took a nap now I'm so far behind it's not even funny. Uh, that's the way it is um, the pump house as luck would have it uh, before I got ready to do the pump house we had some bad wind come through true limb came and fell on one of the posts so I got to put another post in I got the post just got to dig it up and put in another post how about that for luck glad I didn't go ahead and build it that would have been sad but did want to show you something I got this is kind of like a product review I guess broke down and bought a brand new camp stove as well as a camp kitchen and a pantry we are getting ready to go do some camping and for years I've had the little bitty two burner Ozark trail uh, propane camp stove which has served us so well uh, and done really well and we're getting ready to go do some camping uh, in a week or so and we thought well why not you know go through all our camping gear see what we need see what we can upgrade and and use uh, what would make it a little better what's getting wear, worn out and you know even even and again this is you, you know this is another way to cook if you're outdoors so this goes along with a prepping thing if you are so inclined to call it that we always just kind of called it camping uh, but it's a triton made by coleman um 22,000 BTU, so each burner is 11,000 BTUs. Uh, it says that both burners on high will last one hour on one tank of uh, fuel, 16 ounce uh, tank of propane. So it's pretty good. You can use a regular, uh, you know, regular size uh, skillets and everything with this. It's really cool. Um, it was a little bit pricey. I want to say it was like 79 or 89 dollars, but um it's great uh the last one i had that ozark trail i've had it for 15 years probably and it's starting to rust so i mean it's not bad so now we have two stoves and we're going to carry both uh because we uh when we go camping we cook uh we like to eat um we'll throw up some uh, uh we'll, i've been known to take a, a windy unit and a flat screen tv and we'll watch movies and all night long in a tent with air conditioning that's just kind of the stuff we do i've done the minimalist crap and i've hiked all over the smoky mountains with a you know 18 20 pound backpack it's fun uh you know sleeping on the ground or in a hammock uh no not anymore good steak good beer good friends watch some tv can't beat it so more to come okay guys now we're back so there's gonna be like six of us going uh, three couples. We're going to take some kayaks and some canoes and uh, have a good time, some inner tubes, and we're going to do some good cooking, eat some good food. Like I said, drink some beer, have some fun, um, sit in front of some campfires. We're camping now before it gets any hotter and after Memorial Day so there won't be any crowds or anything like that. So it'll be nice. And it's where we've always gone, so it'll be a good place. But I just wanted to show you this craftsman i'm sorry this coleman triton can't beat it the nice thing about it it's an electric start most of the stuff i always have has just been the regular you, you know you have to strike a match and light it see if i can do it one-handed oh. there we go Light's pretty good. I've already heated it up to burn off uh, uh, the oils and uh, and kind of cook the enamel, so it won't have that funny taste or funny smell in any of the food. Should be pretty good. So, like I said, it's a nice upgrade from the uh, Ozark trails when we have. Oh, and this this camp kitchen. Uh, it's actually separate. It's uh, also an Ozark trail. Comes with a little pantry, drying sink, and a little wash tub. I want to say that was seventy-nine or eighty dollars. I know it was kind of a added expense, but it was just something we thought was kind of handy um, because I always took a bucket uh, to wash all the dishes in, 
and this will be nice for paper plates and everything and so it's gonna be kind of cool so I might post a link where you can get it uh, the Amazon store is almost up and running um, it'll be kind of interesting uh, to see to see about that so I, I'd appreciate your input on it as well uh, basically what you would do is you'd go to Amazon put in a code and buy your regular crap and that's it percentage of it will go to uh, uh, help keep the lights on and uh, pay for the videos so who knows it may work out I've got a lot more camping stuff we went and splurged on. I'll be doing a few more videos of those in the next day or two just to uh, get them out and get them going. Thanks for watching, and thanks for subscribing, guys. Y'all gonna make some mayhem.